Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you on behalf of our company and of our owner and founder. These print days will kick off with a surprise. Uh, well, <laughs> three quarters of an hour ago, the surprise was that I was supposed to welcome you. Horst Huber's uh, spontaneity is legendary, so it is my honor to welcome you this morning, and I'm really happy to do so. Um, my name is Manfred Hecht, and I'm happy to see so many familiar faces. Since Horst uh, convinced me or persuaded me, I've been responsible uh, for supporting him in the uh, developing uh, the development and implementation of our strategy. And uh, um, I also have to look after our new uh, market, Asia and Central Asia. Uh, many of you will have uh, met me over the past 20 to 25 years uh, um, in the area of uh, product data management. It is a special honor for me to uh, prolong my professional career at print. And my friend and uh, founder, um, Horst Huber, um, and that I can actually support and assist him. Before I really kick off, let me tell you a brief story. Mülheim an der Ruhr was uh, uh, like a revival for me. My professional career, after I finished my studies, started in Mülheim an der Ruhr back then. The company was called uh, was called called OC Germany GmbH, and um, they uh, sold printers, plotters, and copying machines. So this was my entree to the professional world. So it is wonderful to return to Mülheim an der Ruhr. And with these words, I would like to start my actual welcome. So please welcome on stage Horst Tuber. Yeah, thank you, Manfred, that, uh, for allowing yourself to be talked into making the introduction. So, good morning. My name is Horst uh, Huber. A warm welcome to the 11th print day. Manfred, uh, w what about you? Is this your first print day? Yes? Yes, yes, it, it, yes, it was my first print day. So, perhaps you need a, a brief introduction, uh, an explanation of what print day is about. A brief question to the audience. Who is uh, attending their first print day? Wow. So you need uh, a good constitution. So it makes sense then to talk about the, the format of, of the event. And as you know, we are a software um, producer, print cloud and print suite. But uh, our customers and partner, our customer and partner event is not so much about the product. There are presentations about the product. Uh, we allow customers to talk about their practical experience, our customers, system providers, as well as implementation partners. And we think that relevance is of great importance. And that's why we put uh, you and your questions, your, your topics of interest, we place these at the focal point of the event. Um, I'll come back to some relevant themes in a moment, but we have lots of speeches about practical reality. We hope that we will be able to inspire you, and there will be enough time for networking this evening, and over the course of th the years, uh, this has become something like a, a, a small industry meet. We get lots of PIM um, providers with whom you can talk or talk to the manufacturers direct or the implementation partners. That's one thing. But of course, uh, this type of event is only possible with the help of sponsors. So a big thank you to our sponsors who are increasing in number. Thank you very much. I haven't got any uh, chart with the logo of our sponsors, but take a look up here at the banner and then you will see the logos of our various sponsors. And for those uh, uh, for those of you who have already heard a, a presentation from me, who, who, who has heard a, a one of my presentations? So what do you think are the, the typical aspects? A, f a film quiz? Yeah, good. What was your name? Who was the first one to raise the hand? No, you, you weren't the first one. 
Okay, Nina. Where's Nina? <laughs> okay, have you, have you been here before? Okay, yeah. Here we have prizes on offer, mugs. So who was the first person to say film quiz? Thomas, yeah, then Thomas. There is a new uh, mug, the print day mug, with a beautiful motive on it showing our mascot, Printy, a, a dino. Uh, that, that's been our mascot for the past one and a half years. There is one new aspect uh, regarding the film quiz. You, y y you'll get a mug if you tell me in which presentation I've included the film quiz. It was the second time. Yeah, no, no, not quite right. Almost, almost right. That man over there, yeah. Okay, at the Laudat event. That was the first time we did this. So. We're changing things somewhat today. Sometimes there will be charts. Uh, and I'm not going to to announce the quiz in advance. You have to be quick. But I, I think you will uh, w work out how this works. OK? You mean uh, we have to give you two? You know that the, the, the quantity is limited, but OK, you'll get two. We have only got 200 of these. Um, so perhaps so that I don't get any problems with the organizers, let's say 150. And now, the, now we go. No, nobody wants to go to the stage because all of them knows that now they become some special uh, tasks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Horst. Thank Hello. you for uh, having me. And uh, yes, I am the guy from Chicago as well. So. <laughs> Printy, the Blues Brother, you can call me a little later. But uh, yes, I joined Print uh, last October and thrilled to be here. Germany has always been an amazing place for innovation in print automation. I know some of you from my days at Adobe and looking forward to seeing everyone here. Thank you. We already had the opportunity to talk, so I'll hand on the mic right away. Hello, my name is Maciej Kaczmierczak. I've been a <laughs> managing director since 2018, but uh, I've been working in print company since 2006, uh, 2006 as a Java developer. Uh, I am responsible for uh, development of backend side of uh, pub server. People call me Prince with Evangelist. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Sebastian Hardo. My name is Sebastian Hardo. I don't really know what to say. I am mainly responsible for partnership marketing at a global level. And many of the partners here, for them, I'm the direct contact person whenever we have problems. Well, I'll be brief as well. As some of you will know me. I've been with VAC2 for some time, but now as CTO and as a product manager for the new product uh, line Print Cloud. Good, good mind. <laughs> oh, this is Germany. I'm sorry. So my name is Pierre Saint-Michel. I am the uh, managing.
director of uh, Print France, you know, the subsidiary that burns every week in Paris. <laughs> so uh, a pleasure to be here and to see that nothing is burning. So uh, have a good day and a good two days together. Thanks. Uh, um, two guys are missing. Uh, Johnson, our president for, uh, uh, of Print Americas, he's ill, and uh, Johannes Esseling, uh, responsible manager for Print Vietnam, he's, uh, he stays in Vietnam. So, guys, thanks a lot. It's a pleasure and a honor, and we will see you later, hopefully. <laughs> Yo, now the the fun part is now gone. Uh, go, uh, now we move switch back into German, and after I give you an initial impression as to what uh, makes a print day, now we come to the question: What will characterize the eleventh print day? We will talk somewhat about uh, sustainability, about relevance, about technologies, of course, print data, publishing, the future of print and vision, and we will have uh, practical uh, uh, relevance. In terms of uh, sustainability, we have two uh, presentations. Rüdiger Maas from FMP will talk about in sustainability of print, and Tobias Marx will talk about sustainability of product data on platforms. Um, we'll talk more about platforms later. And then uh, database publishing, that's our home area. Uh, but print base is more than a database publishing tool. So I'm pleased to see that Media Office will talk to about the planning of pu the publishing office projects projects. W and Co. will talk about how you, with just a little bit of li limited money and limited resources, you can take the initial automation steps because uh, it's not necessary to buy expensive licenses to start with. You can start in small steps and we will hear some practical um, reports on how a print uh, catalog can be made. and. We will talk about database publishing from a different perspective. So we look forward to this. I think you've all seen the program, and you know what will be going on and when and where. Perhaps you might uh, remember that we talked about inspiration. We wanted to inspire you. We have two uh, presentations. Stefan Bourne from Passionate will talk about how the uh, how you can talk about the right decisions in the future. Stefan Born has two special guests with him. One perhaps not surprising, but the certain one, second one certainly is. And we have a, a new format. We are always trying to further develop the print day. And this time we've come up with a, a new idea, inspiration sessions. This is, this is a, a format where a person uh, will inspire you uh, in five minutes, not long presentations with thousands of charts, but will provide you with an inspiring thought in just five minutes. So wait and see. It's a surprise. Okay, experience. I don't know uh, how you say things, but if you uh, play the PIM bingo game, then experience would, uh, the, and, and data quality would be one of the first things to be named. But experience is important. We have a presentation from ContentServe, and the second experience presentation is related to what? No one read the event program? About the StockCube experience. So welcome to my keynote uh, speech on the stock experience. No? But not, not, not a bad attempt. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that later. Okay. I've talked about relevance. Is this uh, sign here relevant? If, you're, if you drive past the 200 kph, no, you probably won't read it. 
if you have a 41 hour march behind you, then perhaps this um, sign will be a bit more relevant for you. So it depends on the context and it depends on the situation. Um, that's what makes decides whether information is relevant or not. And relevance, many of the things that we do, even on, uh, uh, in a technical context, many things uh, are related to us wanting to increase the relevance of our communication. So that's why I look forward to the presentation from Tatiana and Christine, who will not talk about technical things, but talk about what relevance means. And I, I look forward to these um, these presentations uh, during one of the later sessions. Okay, hand on heart. Are stock cubes relevant to you? You 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 can tell the truth. We we're, we're filming this, but uh, no, it's not really relevant. So, it may perhaps become relevant if you cook something. So, it's a, a, an ingredient that you either have at at home or not, and depending on what you're cooking, you might need it, and it might have a certain relevance. But if you want to sell a stock cube, well you, will, you will have to create relevance. You undoubtedly won't create relevance by talking about the ingredients that make up this great stock cube. But you will say, well, do you want to, to prepare a, a great soup? And if you take this stock cube, your soup will be all the better. Correct? Do you agree? So, as you can hear, I come from the south of Germany, from Swabia. It's easy to recognize through my accent. And there is a, a, a dark secret. The, the Swabians have lots of dark secrets, but um, I don't know. Perhaps uh, I might uh, get myself into deep water here. But we have um, uh, a speciality which we like, which is called Maultaschen in Germany. So the Swabians call it Maultasche. Maultasche. And yeah, w what should I say? Um, you may not believe me, but uh, b because uh, we always have a maultasche in the right trouser pocket, then in the left-hand pocket we have the powder to enable us to prepare the maultasche properly. So every real Swabian has the stock cube in his pocket or her pocket. You don't believe me? Where's Verena? Verena. You come from Swabia? Yeah. I. I know it's a bit um, um, painful for you to have a, uh, talk about the maltashes in one pocket and the cube in the other hand, but if you still don't believe me, first of all, uh, uh, let's have a couple of Swabians who want to out themselves as regards stock cubes. Please stand up so that we, n we can see that this is actually true. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here they are. Okay, for those Swabians who've forgotten, who've left their cubes at home, we've got some here for you. Uh, have I uh, generated curiosity about stock cubes? At least one person should say yes. Okay, so what, what do you do if you research something? Well, you... you 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 go you Google you you uh, search for stock cube, and that's what I've done, and this is what came up. I don't want to read this out. You can read this for yourselves, but this is a beautiful editorial page about stock cubes, and there's more as you scroll down. Okay. Seba where's Sebastian? Sebastian, you've got mugs. Uh, you're looking at mugs. Now you have the unique opportunity 
uh, the person who wins the cup the mug will be the person, first person to tell me what strikes them here on this editorial page about uh, stock cubes. This is not a fake, this is genuine. Uh, make a bit more effort, come on. What did you say? Okay. Okay, that's, that's, that's the good. Let's give the uh, the guy uh, a print day mug, but that was what not what I was thinking about. I thought there is there is this is what the website looks like. This is th what it looks like in real life. Yeah, you're right. Bang on. Who who's who said that? Dip my clubs. Okay. Right, on an, uh, an editorial uh, page contains a link to a prospectus, and this is what the prospectus looks like. And this brings us to a first um, important factor. Now, the question is, okay, let's go back. Um, is this a, 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 an exception? Let's go back to one of the market leaders, Reva, the supermarket chain. This is the Reva website. No stock cubes. Great disappointment, but no stock cubes. But we have on the left hand side, we have categories. Uh, some people would call this facets. You can. Uh, filter by fruit, vegetable, or lower down vegan foods. And then we get these little um, boxes with different uh, levels of inspiration. And here, you can also look at prospectuses on a, on a website presenting products. You can also uh, look at prospects. Uh, do they have a fetish for prospectuses? I don't know. Here, uh, it says here, discover our vegan diversity. This is a type of product experience, online experience. So let, let's look at uh, w what it looks like on this ominous uh, prospectus. This is genuine. This is This is the offline version. Perhaps uh, a bit more inspiring, because we're not selling stock cubes. We're selling a, a, a dish, and we will sell you the ingredients for this dish. And that then, I mean, and this this applies to all uh, r retailers. There's a lot of B two B communication. This brings us on to the first um, mantra. Uh, many of you know this, but this is a, a mantra print. Um, is not has nothing to do with paper. Whether uh, paper is used uh, depends on the situation. Then, don't get involved in discussion. Now, this is a mantra. But if print is not paper, then the question arises: What is paper? And that's why Jürgen Meyer from Hoffman Group. Uh, uh, n nothing to do with the fact that you've already won a mug, Jürgen. Um, I, I repeatedly used your quote, which Jürgen Meyer's quote, Jürgen Meyer from Hoffman Group, says the catalog is the art of giving the appearance of completeness, of course, um, compressed into a certain space. Of course, this is not the complete uh, product information. Of course, you go to the product page, you see a lot more. But the reader who's, who's leafing through on in the app has all the information together in order to make to enable them to make the right decision. And of course, we we'll all hope that our other customers will develop and digital catalogs. Uh, catalogs are changing in the digital world. There's less printing, there's a greater individualization, greater use of emotions, advertising for the things we've talked about, and the statement ultimately 
is, is, is that print communication is, will become part of digital communication. And this is a very uh, important theory and will become part of the mantra. If uh, enough people, when enough people have taken the step in the future, print will be part of digital communication, whether there is a catalog or, or not, prospectuses, advertising. This is just a question uh, of the function of the touch points within the digital customer experience, the customer journey. In this context, I, I very much uh, look forward to great uh, speeches here about uh, Torsten Hammond from Laudert, who will talk about um, personalization, individualization, generation of individualization on demand in print media. Jürgen Berger has started, uh, has initiated a study uh, in this field, and we will hear the first results, which I think will be very exciting. And then put uh, another way, Simir Merki will talk us about how we can highlight print, get print advertising with, with printing, and then we'll talk about facets. Arto Wozniak will also talk about this alongside another. He will talk about facets alongside another uh, presentation. You've got two surprise guests who are completely who are a complete surprise tomorrow. And Mike from Chicago will talk about how the, okay, the Adobe landscape is highly digital. And how he will talk about how this can be integrated into uh, print. And so many pr p speeches about how um, um, digital can be used as, as a tool. We talked about the fact that we have to communicate in a relevant manner. We said this will be context dependent and related on the situation. If I race along uh, the street at 200 kilometers an hour, then the shine will not be particularly interesting. But one example would be that if we uh, look at our vegan uh, target group with the, with the solution could be prepare vegan products with vegan recipes. Not difficult, you need the data, you need to know who has uh, an affinity towards uh, vegan food, and of course you have to look at the product data. But no matter whether it's prepared in the digital or print version as PDF, or perhaps as a printed macalog, then this is one of the most important aspects. That's why the theory, no matter what the communication is, we have to be context dependent, situation per date, and relevant in our communication. The w we don't have to present, to, to overload someone with 100 product attributes, perhaps if they're involved in significant research, yes, but generally speaking, not. Um, Let's come back to the website. It, one thing we can see here, people uh, on green paper said multi-channel, single source, and then we will cover all, all the channels. Yeah, okay. But truth, unfortunately, is not quite so simple. And I I think this is the uh, tile uh, problem, and this is not B2C or, or B2B. In print, we have to save space. In the internet, I have a lot of, of space. In digital communications, I have more space. I can scroll. And so in, in print, we frequently compromise uh, bring together different products that perhaps don't belong to the same product group, but we may have different types of chocolate, different tastes, different videos, even if the products essentially are different ones. This is a major challenge, which Print Suite offers opportunities to solve this, but this is 
one point, but the other point that I wish to underline here is that you know, some, somehow, I, I, I know that this company has come through a long uh, PIM project, but they said, well, the product experience with product data, well, the, we said the experience was not particularly good. So, and this is not a theory, this is more an observation. So people like us in uh, the software consultants, we tell s super stories and say you have to do all of this and if you d once, when you've done this, the sun will shine. But in, in reality, in practice, then many of the companies that I know have completely different problems. Uh, we're always tr trying to to create new problems, but if you if you look at the the companies, uh, they're not uh, where you would wish them to be, or where they would wish to be. And this is a big difference between opportunities, between claims, and the actual reality. And many companies, first of all, have to do their homework, uh, look at the data, look at the processes. Don't get stressed. Th this is the reality, and lots of people are, are in the same situation as you. And there is an unendless number of subjects to um, be dealt with, so lots of uh, balls up in the air. So I look forward to the practical speeches. You will really learn about the problems in practice, where the actual day-to-day -day problem, problems in reality are, systemically, uh, organizational data, problems. That's why I'm looking forward to this large number of customer presentations who will discuss this. And I'm pretty confident that um, many of these companies have a problem, i.e. Uh, creating content and data. And, okay, that's no surprise. Okay. Yeah, the f gentleman down here who's uh, raising his hand. So, yeah, I think he's slowly learning uh, how things work here. I've just heard uh, I've got uh, five more minutes. We started a bit late. I'll speed up a bit. How much? How long is the break? <laughs> okay. I, I should really have ten minutes, but we'll we'll keep things short and do things a bit different. We'll uh, improvise. The film uh, is for. Uh, talking about AI, which is uh, taking over the world. And that's why I in all these discussions, in many projects, uh, we're told that AI can enable us to do things, a lot of things automatically, but a lot of people uh, in, uh, in our society see problems. So we have lots of problems about the creation of um, of content about the introduction of KI. And we look forward to our next focal point. I think all these pictures have gone through the press. And this is no doubt one aspect that, n not just today, but the trend has been uh, in existence for a long time. You don't know what's genuine and what's not genuine. Um, the channel that in uh, all countries that most people place their trust in is, is print because they think if it's printed or, or as a PDF that you can't erase anything. This is published and uh, is demonstrable as evidence. And the second focal point is platform economy. So you will ask yourself why? I think do, who, who does everyone here know the term platform economy? Then I, I have a definition for you. This is 
the bad people say this is a capitalist platform. Google and co with enormous amounts of money and who promote this. They drive forward digitization and basically speaking, change all our business models. The B2C platforms, I think the, these are all known because we work with these every day. But then in B2B, is not the platforms are not quite so well known, but this will, it is it's coming. H how much time do I have left? Two more minutes, wow. Okay. I, 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 I have a lot more time, actually. We started 15 minutes late. So if it's okay, we'll, uh, I want to do one thing. Okay, let's just carry on. Um, what I want to say, uh, main thing, the B2B platforms will print this out and the distribution of the print results. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, back there. Yep, yeah, but you only get it if you tell me the number of the episode. Number four. Okay. So I'm. Um, uh, 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 overstepping the limits and what we talked about the sway bins with the stop cubes. <laughs> once, uh, once upon a time, long time ago, there was a space control uh, request to land it on Sh Stuttgart store. Okay, you can land, but uh, be careful, otherwise the janitor will, will go nuts. Uh, but if I can, uh, we can't uh, look that quickly because I think you're overreacting. Our branding is still uh, outstanding. I think without a uh, reasonable brand uh, or television advertising, we can't do anything. We can't talk about television advertising. We're not living in the, in the medieval times. We have a completely different mid, uh, instrument. That's the reason why I called up this meeting to talk through this. All respect. What? What can we do other than print or TV, dear members of the board? As from now, we will have to go completely different marketing routes. Marketing is the big uh, magic word. This will be a completely new field. But this, well, the, when we do this, the parliament will be in, in the build newspaper. Okay, the difference is that we have more money than, than the others. All the budgets that we gave out for all this crap is, is a waste of time. I can't understand why, why you come up with this idea. We won't get any purchase decisions on this basis. We can s save ourselves the trouble, but uh, we can't uh, rest on our laurels here. Digital marketing is a, is, a, is a powerful instrument that you have no idea about it. So it was clear that with you, no all would uh, come in here. Do you think with your black uh, advertising tax, you can play the big guy here? Uh, go and get a, 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 a polo neck uh, sweater. Can you say that again, please? That's enough. So leave the guy in, in peace. If it has to be like that, okay. He's a, he's a, a, he loves to dispute this guy. So we're not in a position to, to uh, carry on with all these stupid uh, arguments. Our completely advertising budget will go into digital uh, marketing. Can you perhaps not uh, do as previously, send out a few prospectuses? So yeah, the capitalist platform, you've heard it. They have more money. That's why we have to um, concern ourselves with these subjects. Um, uh, I'll skip this. You can look at the, the charts, a lot about AI advertise, ad advantages. If you sell via platforms, you have bigger s uh, distribution volumes, you're independent, you have economy of scales, but uh, the disadvantages, yeah. Amazon uh, uh, learns from its customers, not us. And of course, the, com the, the competition is, is very strong. And what we have to bear in mind is we have to minimize dependencies. Um, the last hope perhaps in this respect is for greater independence from these platforms. We have to say, you have to um, 
create relevant experiences. And we also have presentations concerning the platforms. On the one hand, uh, Mexoma, and then uh, how you can use PIM to uh, equip uh, your platform. Axel Herbig from you and your customer will talk about information and supply chain. And then to from Akeneo on the podium discussions, we will talk about how uh, we can work, create more modern software architecture fairly quickly and integrate the, syst the various systems in this way. But what does this have to do with the stock cubes? Of course, we're not talking about the ingredients. We're, we're talking about the right product experience. Dishes that taste are individual, they're a personal issue, so everybody you talk to has a different taste. And in digital communication, print is an indispensable ingredient. And print, if you think about the, the tiles, print is, is a concentrate because uh, we have a space, so we have to present the information in a concentrated yet attractive manner. And what this has to, to, to do with uh, print, uh, uh, Christian Kahn and Dietmar Feld will talk about the print cloud, and Dr. Siegert, and um, uh, a special guest, will talk about the print suite. Then I wish you an enjoyable uh, event. Brief time, a uh, time for a brief uh, coffee break. Um, but and. We also have one person uh, unable to attend um, through illness. One person has um, a, a, a slip disc. So we thought about what can we do. And marketing said, OK, host, uh, once you're up here, stay here and carry on talking. But I am, I've not prepared any more speeches. But you can take 40 minutes to ask me questions, whatever you want. So if you have no questions uh, and just want to stay sitting, then let me carry on and answer my own questions. For example, uh, no problem. Uh, for example, uh, what um, you can learn uh, from uh, for a PIM project uh, from building pyramids, building pyramids or a film quiz. Uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>